newly appointed general manager at Nawasa, Mr. Terence P. Smith, speaking to this significant progress in the implementation of the G Cruise project, noted that it is entering a critical phase where the tangible results of meticulous planning and dedicated efforts are becoming evident. These works are only a fraction of the extensive planning and management that has taken place that has led us to this point. This G Cruise project is essentially a climate change adaptation project. So we're talking about extensive replacement of pipelines of various sizes and the installation of uh, water storage tanks. The extension of the uh, physical assets would accommodate for reduced or erratic rainfall, as we see, um, largely as a result of uh, glo global climate change. This first phase in the G Cruise Group 1 pipeline project encompasses a span of approximately two kilometers of eight-inch ductile iron pipe stretching from Nawasa's Mirabo water treatment plant to the propagation station. Following this, the second phase covers a mix of eight-inch and six-inch ductile iron pipes spanning 2.8 kilometers from the propagation station to Progress Park, and the third stage spans eight kilometers exclusively comprising six-inch ductile iron pipe from Progress Park to Tivoli. Assistant Manager of Nawasa's Planning and Development Department, Lyndon Bullen, further defined the project's timeline. This particular section, uh, Merivo site, is estimated to take around a year to complete. So by the end of December 2024, we should be completed with this um, particular site. Um, next month, we begin with the Tufton Hall site, which should finish a bit sooner given the shorter distance. So by the end of the second quarter next year, we should be completed with that site. Immediately after, we will be starting the Monroe site and that will take us into the following year. Supported by funding from the Green Climate Fund, GCF, the German Federal Ministry of the Environment and the Government of Grenada, this transformative initiative is set to revolutionize the nation's water infrastructure, fortifying it against the impacts of climate change. With a budget of approximately 125 million EC dollars, the project aims to enhance the resilience of vital water systems against extreme weather events. We have sharper, heavier showers. We're seeing droughts in the rainy season and, and hurricane season. And when the rain falls, we're having heavier showers, which causes all kinds of um, um, adverse um, impacts on our uh, water systems. The G Cruise project, a cornerstone of Grenada's climate resilience efforts, spans five critical components and is scheduled for completion within six years. Now, at just past the halfway mark, the project is on track for culmination by the end of the fourth quarter of 2025.